for too long. Here now is Hudson Institute Director of the Center Strategy and author of the 100-year marathon, Michael Pillsbury. Michael, great to see you. Thank you for being here. So, first of all, you had this you, incidence last week of two plane loads of, of passengers from China <laughs> to Milan, Italy, 50% of whom tested positive for COVID because they began their testing in Italy last week. Don't you suspect that in the five days since then, we've had a number of plane loads of, of folks from China here that would have tested positive if we had tests going? I do I suspect that's what's going on. It's amazing that the, our government has not released the results of some of these tests, whether we already are having a plane, plane load of Chinese arrive who got infected, just having the test two days before you leave doesn't rule out that some that people get it before they board the plane. So I'm really quite worried about this. The Chinese are bragging that this is all good for China, and they're attacking America and other countries for these tests. They say this is all political, that it's, uh, uh, they're implying that the variants are so close to Omicron that nobody needs to fear about dying from the new Chinese strains of COVID. So, but if there are new Chinese strains of COVID that are lethal to us, this is gonna be a disaster that President Biden will regret not taking action already. And we have to remember that when the pandemic, before the pandemic became public, back in late 2019, they knew that it was transmittable, mm -hmm. that the disease was transmittable, was airborne, could be airborne. And, and yet they allowed all the passengers from Wuhan to go to the United States, to go to Italy where it was spread, uh, but those same pass same folks from Wuhan could not travel in China. So they were protecting their own country while infecting the rest of the world. So that's their history, and, and we should be worried it might be playing out again. I think that's right, David, and part of this is the Chinese legendary use of secrecy and even deception uh, to get ahead. It's historically part of Chinese culture. Uh, so what I'm worried about is that there's something that the Chinese know about this new COVID virus that they have, that they're covering up. They've been very sensitive about telling the press the last several days that they're in touch with the WHO. But apparently they're not really providing the WHO all the new variants. Hmm. Then we have President Biden today saying he's worried about Chinese sensitivity when we raise their lack of Oh. of cooperation with this. So uh, President Biden does not seem to have the issue correctly being explained to him that he could be punished politically uh, if he lets this Chinese travel come here and the virus spread and then it goes back to his very loose approach uh, in the beginning. It can be very dangerous for President Biden's political standing. Well, and, and of course, the fact is, is that as of last Monday, as of a week ago, more than a week ago, 10 days ago, they stopped reporting on all of the medical occurrences taking place with regard to COVID in China. So uh, Lord knows they, there could be something that they're hiding that, we, that would, we would want to know about before we let the plane loads of Chinese come here. I agree in our not having a speaker who can appoint the standing committee on China that Kevin McCarthy wants to do. That slows us down. It helps the Chinese yeah. that we can't get this standing committee on China or select committee on China going. Uh, heaven forbid if the Democrats don't join it. That's the original plan to be a bipartisan select committee on China to start actually passing legislation. Because as you know, David, the Chinese got away with the whole spread of COVID. They were never punished. All this talk about lawsuits right. and reparations, it never happened because the Congress is not organized yet to deal with China. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's it, there's going to be hell to pay if, in fact, there is a new variant that comes from China as a result of uh, somebody missing the ball here. Uh, Michael Pillsbury, great to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it.